Greg, a second autumn test series at BT Mofield this weekend against Fiji. You've made a number of changes. Um, Cam Redpath and Chris Harris come into the backs as a centre partnership. Yeah, that's right. And with uh, with a new mid midfield with, with Adam Hastings at 10, uh, they trained together last week. It's an opportunity for them. They, they weren't available, um, like all our players based outside of Scotland. And we believe uh, they can work really well together. Really good mix of, of experience, um, strong defence and, and creative attack. And you've got Stuart Hogg available this weekend as well, who comes in at 15. Yeah, he, Stuart did train with us one day last week and then he played Friday night, Exeter, Gloucester game. But he was full of energy last week and he has been this week. Uh, obviously that, that back, back three have, have played a number of times together over the last season or two. You touched on it there, you've got Adam coming in at 10 uh, to partner with Chris from Gloucester and obviously partnering back up again with Ali as well. Tell us about Adam coming in at 10. Yeah, he's been, he's been in great form this year um, and that's been a pleasing aspect. I think to, to go down to Gloucester was a, a big change and challenge for him. He played a lot of rugby last year but this year he's, he's back, playing back at his best level uh, and driving that team week in, week out to, to some very good results. Uh, him and Blair get on really well. Um, Blair, Blair played well at the weekend and they, they're going to drive each other to, to perform well for Scotland. You've got a number of exiles returning, um, coming off as replacements as well, but also Murphy Wilk has got the chance of his first cap off the bench as well. Yeah, it's, it's great for, for Murphy and uh, I'll be proud of for him and his family. He was on tour with us in the summer and was the only player that went through the whole tour but didn't get a chance to be in the 23. Uh, he impressed us then. He, he's not had a huge amount of game time for, for Glasgow. He was unlucky on two occasions he was selected to start and the games were called off, but we're very impressed with his performance uh, a week ago. Um, and it's a great opportunity for him to not only win his first cap but thrive at test level. What sort of challenge are you expecting from a Fiji team for this weekend? Well, firstly, it's a physical challenge. They're, they're, they're big men, um, the most powerful athletes uh, that we get to play against in rugby. Uh, they're very skillful too, and we've got to watch out that our accuracy um, is at its, its highest level. Because if we're inaccurate with passing, kicking or contact, they're, they're going to make breaks against us. They, they always get better when they spend time together. I'm sure they've been working hard all week to get those combinations working, but we know as a, as a group of individuals and, and as a team they're, they're very very dangerous. And just looking at the whole 23 for the match day the thing that stands out really is the depth that you've got available that must be pleasing to you as a head coach. Yes it, it is pleasing um, we we put in a, a good performance against uh, Australia and we, we know we had opportunities to win and while we're disappointed with that uh, we've got a full squad this week and a lot of competition and it's now an opportunity for, for these players to to put a marker down as we go into to New Zealand and, and Argentina uh, later on in the month.